Due to confusing orders, we were not able to do well in our prior campaign against growing patrols around the ruins. So we must immediately reconstructure, restructure our system of giving orders. Have you any ideas? General, the problem is that pushy Major Vandercombe, he... Hold your tongue. I understand your resentment towards Major Vandercombe, but we don't want any bad feelings with Gebler. I'm sorry. What about that new guy, Ramses? What about him? I've heard he is rather talented. He shouldn't trouble us like that Vandercombe. That surprise attack was amazing. But he is an outsider. We can't trust him. Who's there? Stop daydreaming. Arrest the intruder. I don't know what you're talking about. No intruder here. <laughs> mm, I'm stuck. How am I stuck? My only weakness, curtains. Let's go into your Tina. That's a lot of enemies. I wish I hit everyone. Dang, damage. do triangle triangle x and still get headhunter or if it has to be the exact inputs yeah it does i kind of like watching him whip his whips around Kind of entertaining. I enjoy this whip a snapper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to. I started that thought a long time ago and then never finished it. Speaking of mech games, remember last week when I was like, yo, guys. When I was a kid, I had this PS1 mech game. I don't know what it was. But it was like the sauce. And I've never played it since. Well, guess what? I figured out what it was. And I ordered it. So when it gets here, we might have to... We might have to play it. And I think some of you may have guessed it correctly. I don't remember what everyone guessed. But it was this bad boy. Mech Warrior 2. Which, I think this is the PC cover, but... Also came out on PlayStation and Sega Saturn, funnily enough. We were talking about Sega Saturn earlier. But yeah, Mech Warrior 2. I randomly had this game on PS1 as a kid. It's the only mech game I ever played. And I thought it was so cool when I was a kid. I had no idea how to play it, but I remember playing it a lot. And I wasn't even into, like, robots or machines, but... MechWarrior 1 actually only was a PC game. Really old PC game, I think. Yeah, 1989 DOS. And then came out for the X68K in 92. And it came out for Windows 98 in 93. But it originally came out for DOS in 89. Ancient. Ancient game. But funnily enough, MechWarrior 2 actually came out on PS1. So yeah, I got that. I found somebody on eBay that was selling it. I bought it. It's coming in the mail. We're going to have to play that sometime. We'll have to do another... Uh, well, maybe I'll just play it sometime when we have some time. But Or I could save it for like an event. And we could do like a childhood games event again. 
Could do it for my birthday, but that's kind of far away. It's in August. I'd like to play it before then. Why is this guy so slow? What is happening? Am I fighting him or am I fighting someone with... Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, this guy's dodging my stuff, so now here's a chance for me to actually build up some AP and it might actually be useful. Is he just dodging anyways? Wiseman. You're not gonna do anything. I'll get some AP. Get some free AP. Uh oh, he's doing some boo, boo, boring. Come on, fight properly. This is not good at this rate. Just as I thought. You, where did you learn that technique? Who cares where? Come on now, put up a serious fight. Hmm, so then why do you fight? For yourself or for the sake of others? What do you ask that for? Doesn't there have to be a reason or a goal for a person to fight? My reasons for fighting are none of your business. So you are you are you fighting for no reason or goal. You So you are you fighting. Or no is this a typo or am I dumb? <laughs> you are This has gotta be a typo. You are you fighting. Yeah, I think it's just an extra you. I think it's just, so you are fighting for no reason or goal. Would you shut up? I'm in the middle of finding for my, finding for my. Okay, wait, this, this has been. <laughs> this translation has been really good up to this point. Do we just get two typos in a row? I'm in the middle of finding for my purpose. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be fighting for my purpose. All your base are belong to us? Then forget it, for there's no way you could find su such. Such. Uh, okay, that's also weird, but I guess technically makes sense. What? You appear to be looking forward, but in reality you are only looking downward. Like backward to me? Did they just, did they just, did this, was, was this one conversation outsourced to somebody else? What's going on? You're only looking at yourself. Like that, you will find nothing. How would you know? The intern did this part? I know, by exchanging blows with you, I can tell a great deal. Ah, shut up. Weak, weak. You won't even graze me with those kinds of attacks. But superficially, at least, it seems you've matured physically. You've done well in recovering from those wounds, Faye. How do you know my name? I deliberately didn't use my real name when I entered this contest. And that thing about my recovering from my wounds. You aren't who I think you are. Huh? Why is he looking straight up? Oh my, is it already that time? I guess it can't be helped. I've got to be on my way. Wait, I want to ask you. Grumble, grumble. Uh, ahem, it appears that competitor wise man has forfeited. The remaining competitor will automatically be awarded victory. What? Are you serious? Boo, boo. Yeah, I won the bet. Wise man. Yahoo Translate. <laughs> ask Jeeves. He asked Jeeves for the... For that one conversation. Up oh, and now I'm suddenly fighting this guy. That's actually kind of impressive that it saved that... Guy running into me.
Never forget Ash Jeeves, the original AI. You guys thought AI was new? What about Ash Jeeves? He was so smart, I asked him any question, he would answer it. With a page of search results. Cha-Cha. That was the real AI. And by, by AI, I mean real person. We used to use Cha-Cha all the time. <laughs> that whip sound effect. Sonic. I feel like we're back at the front of the... Like, I feel like I went backwards. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> he ran right past. level a thousand. Look at this giant gun. Holy moly. That guard hasn't learned object permits yet. Speaking of giant guns. Oh my, Major Vandercum, bringing this thing into the room. It's going to be so difficult to clean with this here. I'm sure there won't be a guard out here. I think I've killed them all at this point, to be honest. Kind of just on a murdering spree. I would imagine I need to go up, so... in the air and then give him the finger guns on the way down is pretty incredible. Oh, wait, no, the thumbs up. Gives him a thumbs up on the way down. Kind of enjoying this part because I'm leveling up Bart because he was kind of behind. on the general's bed. Sign of power. Squeak. Stop. like a save point. Gotta send her a, a secret signal. It's me, Bart. This 
Xenogear is ranked highly on an all-time RPG general list? Hmm, that's an interesting question, because I feel like... By popularity, probably not. But I feel like those who've played it would place it there. So it's kind of a hard question to answer, you know? I could, I could see the argument for it being on there and not being on there. That's impressive. Dude, the camera work and like some of the stuff. I mean, this game is genuinely more impressive than Final Fantasy at many times. No wonder the team that worked on this moved on to make Xenosaga. It's like, holy crap. They knew what they were doing with the PS1 architecture, that's for sure. The only thing I would argue is that it is kind of laggy at times. So, like, that's a bit of a detriment, but. Man, did they do some crazy stuff with what they had. So I need to go to the East Tower, so I guess I just run east and up. I feel like, from what I've heard, this game is popular enough to be on a top 25. But again, I could see the argument of saying that there's just 25 other RPGs that are of the same quality, but more popular. It depends on how you're making the list, but... No, I, I mean, Xenogears is surprisingly popular. I mean, it was made during the golden age of Square Enix RPGs, and Final Fantasy VII literally quotes it, or... You know, shouts it out. And Xenosaga is super mega popular, so like... I I think it honestly... Would be on, on my top 25. Uh, you know, unless my opinion of it... Changes by the time I finish it, but... If I had to right now make a top 25 list super unbiasedly, just like what I think the top 25 RPGs are, according to the entire RPG community, this would probably be on there. The, just like the, the pure amount of people that have reached out to me and said like, Xenogears changed my life is like already pretty staggering to begin with. Would you rather play in this day and age, this or Bloodborne? Does that mean the game is higher? Eh, you can't look at it that way. If you're making a top RPG list, you have to take it in consideration of like when it released. There has to be a certain amount of context. Like, how would I sneak past this guy? Unless I can, like, tick him off and then run away and then come back and he disappears or something. But I kind of feel like you're not supposed to stealth this, this whole way. How do we categorize Western RPGs? Uh, Wild Arms, and that's it. Wild Arms is the only Western RPG ever. The rest of them are 
pure imitations. <laughs> I still... I still... Like, I know this isn't how it went, but in my head canon, a bunch of people were sitting in a room and they were like, we need to make a Western RPG. All these Eastern RPGs, they're getting really popular and making a lot of money. We need to make a Western RPG. And someone in the room, like the main scenario writer in the room, just heard Western RPG. And like he was out to lunch at the time. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, Western RPG, got it. And then they're like, all right, go write the scenario. And they like wrote it and came back. And he's like, all right, so we got some cowboys. We got a train, you know, train chase scene. And like everyone in the room was like, that's not what we meant. <laughs> but okay, let's make it. <laughs> like it started off as a goof and then they were just like, you know what? We're doing this. <laughs> also aliens. I heard they like aliens. We're going aliens. I, w <laughs> I went home and I watched Cowboy vs. Aliens and then I wrote this, <laughs> wrote this scenario. Wild Arms is honestly so incredible, though. In so many different ways. Bart! Let's go home, Margie. I just knew you'd come for me. I'm getting you out of here. Come on, follow me. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I really like this. <laughs> Why do I already love Margie as a character so much? She's only had two scenes, and she's, like, my favorite character. Something about a girl that gets abducted but still sees the positive and is just, like, being herself. It's just so charming. Bart, look! Crap, Gebler. Looks like we have rats. Where do you plan on taking that girl, boy? Boy? Ah, boy! Let's see you try and call me that again. Who the heck are you anyway? You do have spunk, but I don't need to give you my name to rats like you. What? Now hand over the girl. She is a very important guest. Until she tells us where a certain piece of the Fatima Jasper is, we can't allow her to be taken away. Give me a break. You think I'm going to hand her over just because you say to? Pull your head out, you gabbler geek. Oh man, you called him a geek. Get destroyed in 90s slang. Hmm, I assume you know where such abusive language will lead you. If you truly want to protect that child, then surrender. Prince Bartholomew. Oh yeah? You know about me, huh? Heh. <laughs> it's not such a bad feeling having your name known by someone as beautiful as you. Barty! You may have had your problems with Shakan, but we won't treat you badly. Concerning Shakan really doesn't matter, either way to us. Jerk. <laughs> Jerk? That's nice to know, but I can't accept it. See, for me, either way is bad. Then it's decided. Tch. Margie, hide back behind there. No, I'll fight too. I don't care, just hide. So, a bit of an unfortunate health situation. Nice. Good luck, Bart. Oh, thanks. Uh, he seems to be ready to counter me, so I'm gonna do this. What? How could you? I'll do it again.
She missed. How could you? Okay, so is this is this dude just not gonna? We have a situation. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> My entire health bar? I mean, sure, punish me for attacking, but holy moly. Oh, I should have healed. Can't even grind at this point. Maybe I shouldn't have saved. Geek. Why does Bartholomew already look hurt? So I should be able to get one hit in. Sha, sha. Great. Ow. Or follow me out. Okay, Bart. Glad you're here, Faye. Faye? What's wrong, Bart? I thought this was just a simple rescue. Shut up. This jerk butted in and slowed me down. The way he attacked, it reminded me of someone from my past. Random flashback. Enough talk. Battling will reveal the truth about you. Careful, Faye. This Gabler jerk's pretty strong. Oh boy.
not being hit. Oh, where's my good luck Fay? Oh, I got six AP now. Okay, so do we just chill now or what? I, I'm curious like does he counter with 200 damage every time, or does he counter based on how much damage I do? Because if I could hit him with like one hit and then do nothing, I could get my AP back. I feel like maybe I should just defend. Okay, this is cheating. He's cheating! Let's go and see Mark. I just realized Bart has more AP than Faye does now. Maybe he got ahead in levels after all that, all those guard fights. I wonder if there's a way to see if my strength up thing is still active. Quite a bit of turns. I have like a a reddish glow. I wonder if that means it's still active. Kill him with that juicy restore. Sha, sha. What am I doing on? Okay, I saw a lot. Something about those hits that he does with that sword are just so brutal. Nice. He looks completely different, and there's no response. So just my imagination? But that technique was indeed his. What's more, the name Faye. Where have I... 
Fay. That is my child's name. Gah! Leave the rest to me. Margie. Rats? <laughs> She's the rat queen. Now! Is it him? Or do I only want to think so? If it is him, I, I am... Worthless. A reject. Guard! Double the guards on both shifts. Don't let those rats in here again. The rats is in the, the humans, or the rats is in the rats? Hey, Faye, do you know where this elevator goes? I don't know, where does it go? I'm asking you, this thing wasn't here before. Don't worry, we'll get you back home, somehow. I'm not worried. Hey, Faye, how did the tournament go? Uh, I won, I guess. That's what I thought, I knew you could do it. Winning the tournament wasn't really part of the plan. Just kind of a bonus. That's... Gevler's aerial battleship. Yeah, but look what's coming out of it. Are you guys in the mood for another battle? Bart, we better get out of here and fast. Quick, run! I'm not controlling this. <laughs> Even though it kind of looks like I am. Look at those legs! <laughs> there are intruders in the base. There are three intruders. Presently heading for the dock area. The two men may be killed, but do not harm the girl. Faye! You're... Ellie? What are you doing here? I should be asking you. Don't tell me you're the intruders, Faye. Huh? Of course not. If she's in our way, just... Wait a second, Bart. She... Ellie is not an enemy. Not an enemy? Are you sane? Look at her uniform. She's a Gebler officer. They ran in here. Hurry, this way. A plus sound effects. Sounds like they've gone. Faye, can you explain to me how you know a Gebler officer? Well, I don't know where you met her, but no matter how you look at it, She's a Gebler officer, not an enemy? Where do you get off saying that? Yes, Special Forces of the Sacred Empire of Solaris, also known as Gebler. I'm Lieutenant Eloheim von Houten of the Ignis Army's 3rd Assault Division. And, while returning from a mission to capture the newest model gear from a Kislev military factory, I was attacked by pursuing Kislev gears and crash landed in your village. I wanted to tell you, but I just couldn't bring myself to. When I heard what my crash landing in your village had caused, I couldn't tell you. I knew. Faye. I overheard you talking with the doc. Then why? It was all my fault, but I lashed out at you with my own feelings. I'm sorry. No, it wasn't. Just forget about it. You couldn't help it. You had your own problems. But, Faye, why are you with them? I'm cooperating with Bart and his crew. We came to rescue Margie when... who was taken prisoner in the castle here. I see. Hey, just a minute. Where do you think you're going? 
You want to get out of the castle, right? In this confusion, you can escape through the gear launch door. Great idea, but do we really buy that? I don't think so. She talks sweet, but she's probably planning to turn us over to that old bald geezer. It's a trick, Faye. Wait, Bart, she's not a bad person. She said she'd help us, so let's go with her plan. You're always like this. Can't you see? She's in Gebler. Don't be so dang trusting. That's not true, is it, Ellie? Oh, yeah? Look where your ability to judge characters got you. Faye, what about you? Do you believe her? I made up my mind long ago. Faye. Gah, first you, now her. The whole lot of you can go jump off a cliff for all I care. Wait here a second. Coast is clear. Quick, follow me. This is the gear startup code. You can start any standard gear with this code. Ellie? This is all I can do for you. The rest is up to fate. Alright, let's go, Faye. What are you doing? Hurry up. Ellie, come with us. You're not the type of person suited to a place like this. Faye. You're just wasting time talking. They're coming. We're gonna get caught. Ellie. Thanks, but it's impossible. I'm a Solaris soldier. This is where I belong. I can't go with you. Ellie! Faye, the next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Sound effects, man, they're so good. Yeah, and get my wyvern powered up now. I must pursue them. Commander, I have a message from Hugh. What? Stop the power up. Stop the power up. Recall all men back to base and wait for further orders. That fool, what is he doing down here now? Well, Margaret, now that we have saved you, may we ask you one thing? Why did you go up against the enemy by yourself? Sorry, but I heard a rumor in town that day. It was said that the sex sisters who were captured by Ava were still alive. Obviously a groundless rumor started by the enemy in order to lure you out. Please, don't be so hard on her. The Nissan sect is Margaret's home. It's perfectly understandable. Then, you thought you could save them alone? That was stupid. I believed it. So what? I was wrong. But... But Grandma and Mom were already executed. Margaret. At any rate, Margaret is here unhurt. That's the main thing. Before luck runs out, let's take Margaret to Nissan. We can talk more there. Now, I'll go prepare Margaret's room. Miss Margaret, may I ask you to accompany me? Margie. Next time, let us know. We'll go for you. Yeah, I'll do that. Margaret is straining herself. Young master, you should be kind to her. <laughs> Music just abruptly stopped. In it. That Margie. 
leaving a strange stuffed animal in a place like this. Because of this, we can't get into the bridge. Hey, Faye, stop the funny voices, will ya? Huh? I didn't say anything. That's weird. Anyway, let's ask Margie to get rid of it. You can't walk over the stuffed animal. <laughs> Just simply cannot be done. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I really like that moment with Ellie. Cause like, I I've seen I've seen times in like video games or movies where like the character that's on the other team helps, but like there's not really a good explanation as to why, you know. Like, that whole moment where she was like, the next time we see each other, we'll be enemies. It's not always written well. Like, sometimes it's not really believable they would help out the one time. But here it's super believable because we had that whole scene where she was talking to Doc and she was like, I need to apologize to Faye. Like, it was like really tearing her up. She was like, I have to apologize to Faye. And so it, it makes perfect sense that she would help them there once, you know. The old Spider-Man, everyone gets one. Like, it makes sense that she would help them there, but then she ends it with, next time we see each other, we'll be enemies. It's like really cool. That scene was well done. And it adds some really cool, like, stakes now because we don't know what's gonna happen next time we see her. And she's such a likable character too that like we want her on our side so it's whenever whenever we're close to getting her and then she doesn't come to our side it's like definitely hits you emotionally like oh man I want her she's a cool character she belongs with us Oh, to think that Margaret has now returned. Come to think of it, this is the second time we have had to flee from the royal capital. It seems an awful long time ago, that night that I took them with me to escape. Yeah, and on top of that, he was bold enough to steal this ship along the way. You know, this used to be the kingdom's flagship? Yes, it was all Sigurd's doing. So courageous of him, even at such a young age. Anyway, this Yggdrasil can be considered as a keepsake for the late king for the young master. Kinda of feels like you're stuck to me for life. Even though you used to be my personal knight, right? Now I'm just a kid pirate. But eventually you will become a proud lord. I gotta hurry up and grow up, or I'll never be proud of myself. And I won't be able to win against him. Yeah, she's definitely a Beatrix style character. Definitely. They really, they really do a great job introducing her as a super likable character, and then immediately pulling, pulling her away from the player. Be like, see this awesome character? Yeah, you can't have her. You know, <laughs> that's like a really cool, really cool uh, character design. All right, um, I was gonna keep going because we have a little bit more time, but I think this is a really good time to stop. So I don't like explore half the ship and then or half the base and then forget where I explored. So let's just stop here because we have a clear objective to go talk to uh, Margie. Uh, yeah, what an awesome, awesome day. We, did, we didn't get a lot like we didn't get super far because I spent a lot of time just exploring uh, that village. But um, game continues to to really hit some some really cool moments and the exploration feels cool too. I like how I was able to just kind of explore around the map a little bit. Um, and then like that village, there was some, there wasn't really a lot of, a lot to find. Everyone I talked to either I had to talk to or had kind of nothing to say. I wish there was maybe some like items to get or stuff to find in the village other than just figuring out how to progress. Um, but there could have been some stuff I missed. I don't know. So, and there was the shops at least. So, 
Um, but yeah, I liked how you had to like explore and talk to everyone and figure out how to infiltrate. Like that was a that was a cool section. Um, and yeah, the fact that it lets you kind of like explore a little bit, go to Nissan, go back to um, the other village. What was the other village called? I forget. There's so many names in this game, I constantly get them confused or forgotten. But um, let you go back, Dazel. Yeah, let you go back to Dazel and uh, hang out there. And so, yeah, I, I think the game's finally opening up a little bit. It's been kind of just straight story. But now it's like opened up a little bit, let you explore a little bit. I think we're going to get to a point where we get some kind of ship or some kind of like way to uh, travel around the map and then it'll really open up more. But I don't feel like I need it to open up. Like I, I'm having fun just doing the next thing. I don't feel like I'm, you know, it's too linear or anything. Um, mostly just because I'm stoked to see the next story part anyways but i think that this game could really be great when it opens up because like we said before money is actually a thing in this game like you do actually need to watch your money and get money if you want to buy stuff and running out of fuel with the robots and everything like there's some cool mechanics that if the game opens up and just lets you explore it'll be cool to try to manage all those things and like upgrade your gears but then also upgrade your characters um, learn the combos and watch your fuel and upgrade things and then like make money so and I almost I also wonder if there's like more going on with like the the gears in terms of what you can equip so really cool stuff looking forward to more but for now that'll be it for let's play Xeno Gears thank you so much for watching thanks YouTube for hanging we will see you in the next episodes. Peace.